Um, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to teach you a mnemonic that's going to help you remember this. And it's Nick the Brat Camel ate a clam and O Krups for supper in Phoenix. And the reason I put eight in these quotes is because we're going to focus on um, the polyatomics that end in eight. It's common for them to end in eight or eight. There are three polyatomics that end in eid, I-D-E, which is usually reserved for the nonmetals on the periodic table when they have a negative charge. But um, most, if you see an eight or an eight, you should think that it's a polyatomic ion. So I'll show you how you use this device. So here's the rule. Consonants, and since we haven't done this since grade school, those are non-vowels, they tell how many oxygens to add to your polyatomic. An organ is called an oxyanion because it tends to have a lot of oxygen and a negative charge. Um, the vowels will tell you the charge. And all of the polyatomic ions or oxyanions, whatever you want to call them, have a negative charge with the exception of um, the most commonly used is ammonium has a positive charge, NH4+. Um, so we're going to focus on the whole rest of the polyatomics, which is almost all of them, which has the negative charge. So the vowel will tell you the negative charge and also the magnitude of the negative charge. If you look at Nick and Nick the camel, you start with the N, so here's our N, and we have one, two, three, three consonants, so we have an O3, and then we have one vowel, which means a negative one charge. Um, so this is nitrate, and the second um, ion is nitrate. The first is not because no charge is written yet. So this is not nitrate. It's, you have to see um, an actual charge on your polyatomic ion or it has to be paired with a metal in order to be a polyatomic ion. Otherwise, it's a covalent compound or molecular compound, which we'll discuss later. So let's go back to our phrase. Nick the brat camel ate a clam and okreps for supper in Phoenix. Now we're going to focus on brat. So brat would be BR, is what we're going to um, focus on for our beginning. And it has one, two, three consonants. So three consonants, that means add three oxygen. So BRO3, BRAT has one vowel, so one minus charge right here. And then you have bromate. And notice that these are all going to end in eight because Nick the BRAT camel again eight. And um, how whatever the beginning is, this one's bromine, you just change the ending to eight. So Nick the BRAT camel, now we're going to focus on camel, ate a clam and O craps for supper in Phoenix. Camel has one, two, three consonants, so it has three oxygens. And you can see the three oxygens right here. Camel has two vowels, so it has a two minus charge. And so when we finish, what we have here is we have carbon, eight, carbonate. So carbonate is commonly found um, in water, drinking water. Um, Calcium carbonate is chalk. Carbonate is a component of our bloodstream. It helps to maintain our blood pH. Um, if we go to Nick the Brat Camel eat a clam, and we focus on clam, and just like the BrCl, it looks like a halogen. You can see this halogen right there. So we take the whole Cl. And Cl is the beginning, but there are three consonants total. There's C, there's L, there's M. So there's three consonants, which means three oxygens. There's one vowel, the A, that means a minus one charge. And you can just write minus, or you can write one minus or minus one, it's all fine. So now it's chlorate. So from clam, you get chlorate. And O, and I added the O so you could see one of the polyatomics. Um, that it's not actually an eight, but it's a really simple one, and it's a really common one. O has one consonant, so one oxygen. They typically write it in front. 
one vowel, so one negative charge, and they'll write it here, here. It's usually in the upper right-hand corner. It also looks like the polyatomic hydroxide. OH, when you say and O, it already looks like the OH, the polyatomic. So again, this is one of the polyatomics that ends in IDE. Honestly, the, there aren't many. There's um, maybe five. Three are the ones that you typically have to know. And they tend to be poisonous. This one's a really strong base. So you find it in Drano. Then if you go to Kreps, Nick the Brat Camel ate Clam and O Kreps for supper in Phoenix. Kreps, again, you take the CR for chromium, but when you count the consonants, there's one, two, three, four. Because there's four consonants, there's four oxygen, there's your four oxygen, there's two vowels, so a negative two charge, and again, you could write two minus or negative two. Um, most of the software, if you're doing online homework, will take it either way, as long as you're doing a superscript for this and a subscript for this. Um, and this is the chromate ion. If it had any other charge or any other number of oxygen, it would no longer be chromate. So let's go to the last two. Um, so supper. Supper has four consonants. One, two, three, four. So four oxygen. You can see them right here. And then it has two vowels. And these are the two things that Nick the Brat Camel was eating. Um, and since it has two vowels, it has a two minus or negative two charge. Again, that's a superscript. And that's a sulfate ion. Um, sulfate, you know, is commonly talked about in the shampoo industry. Everything's trying to go sulfate free. It's a strong detergent. Um, it's also often found in groundwater. Um, many medicines are paired with sulfate. So, um, it, it kind of has a bad reputation as far as whether or not it's good or bad for us, but it's only, um, can cause itching if someone has an allergy and it's actually very rare. So it's common for you to take a drug that ends with the sulfate in it. We have a lot of sulfate ions in us. And then if we look at the last Phoenix, um, here's Phoenix, Phoenix, to spell it properly. It has one, two, three, four consonants, so four oxygens, and then it has one, two, three vowels, so it has a big charge, three minus charge, and again, notice that all of these were negative charged because almost all of the polyatomics have a negative charge, definitely all in here, um, and so then you get phosphate, the phosphate ion, and when they talk about that in physiology, um, phosphate transfer from ATP to form ADP, that's what it is, it's phosphate. But we're also full of phosphates. Our um, body is naturally full of phosphates um, outside of ATP. You could also have Nick the Camel have after dinner mints, and you get another polyatomic out of this. I'm sure you can get more than I presented here, but I just wanted to give an example. So we could take mints has four consonants, so four oxygens. MN, you have to remember the MN from here. And um, if you take the four oxygen, put them here, it has one vowel. So in negative one charge, you get the permanganate ion, which is really common um, also on um, polyatomic ions that you need to memorize. So you've learned a lot of things that Nick ate. But remember, ites have the same exact charge and structure, but they have one less oxygen. What that means is you only need to know what Nick ate, or you only need to memorize your eights, because you automatically know the ites. You just take an oxygen away. So sulfate, which came from supper, SO4, 2 minus. Sulfite is identical, except just one less oxygen. It's SO3, 2 minus. Chlorate, which came from clam, ClO3, minus 1. Um, chlorate is identical. It's just ClO2, minus 1 charge.